Pop Goes is a FNAF fan game series that does not take into account any of the games that were released after FNAF 3. It's a reboot. This game is a prologue to an upcoming reboot of the main Pop Goes game. Arrow keys are walls to move and the space bar to select or interact. Once you begin the game, the E key can be used to check the current stats. Follow this if you get stuck. Alt enter full screen, I already did that. If you encounter bugs, let us know. And as a warning, this game contains flashing lights, loud sounds, and some disturbing imagery. Okay guys, if you don't like flashing lights, loud sounds, or just disturbing imagery, this is the wrong video for you. So, I just want to make sure I read that quick before I even did an intro, so. Hey guys, it's your homeboy, the one only Great Dane. And today, we're going to be playing Pop Goes the Dead Forest. It's already enough is an interesting title, so if you guys can't tell already, this is a very interesting design. I like what they did here. So pressing the arrow keys or wasp actually moves the stick and the select and pause buttons are also interactable. So it really does feel like you're playing an arcade game. However, one complaint I do have is if you use the arrow keys, you still have to press E to go back, so you might as well just use the arrow keys, but other than that, it's good. So, obviously I can't pretend like I haven't seen it yet, because obviously I have to go into the game to check the sound to mic ratio before I start, because I remember the first um, FNAF fan game I did, the whole audio was just terrible, like, I, it was just so much louder than me, it was just ridiculous, so, I've looked, at least in the general control area, I've not seen the game, and I really don't know anything about it, so, apparently, Pop Goes is a fan FNAF game, so, I talked to Sans Bad Time quite a bit about it, so, apparently, it goes in parts, and this is going to be a lot more like FNAF World than the actual regular, you know, FNAF fan games with all the jump scares and such. So, obviously there is at least one jump scare I've heard, and it did say so in the previous screens, so. One thing that does worry me about playing through this, though, is that since it's more of a, um, I, I assume it's a, since it's like FNAF World, it's probably going to be like some kind of roam, free roam battle mini game thing, so I'm actually probably gonna have to like focus or something. Okay, let me just fondle the grondle for a second, get used to these controls because again I'm not usually a keyboard mouse guy, so okay. So I know how to move interacting. Okay, so pop goes the weasel. Also, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I originally thought this was called Pogos and I always pronounced it that way, so it's definitely a change, so I know what health points are, so the attack stat shows how much damage your base attack will do to your current opponent. You can upgrade in the shops. Fair enough. Use attack to deal damage. Once the enemy's HP at zero, they'll lose the battle. Okay. Block decreases the damage of upcoming attack. Good against charge. Select items to access what you have bought from Red Shop. Okay. So acorn 2550. So acorn fruit pizza. 50% damage for 5. 33% defense for 5. Invincible for 3. Why did they have to make one just 3 turns so I could still spend 5? You have to remember all this jazz. Okay, traversal abilities are special unlocks that are given after beating certain mini bosses. So I'm assuming that's just so you can move faster around the game. You access new areas of the map. They let you travel under large boulders, for example. I'm glad that's so specific. Abilities can be upgraded twice each at inns. Buying an upgrade requires unique emerald coins. Oh dear lord. Enemies will sometimes charge their attacks. If you see any flash, then they are about to unleash a triple damage on their next turn. Use block to protect yourself. I'm assuming that's going to be important. 
enemies can also miss their attacks. If you think your opponent is about to win a fight, you might be wrong. Well, that's not reassuring. You can save your game by talking to Mandra at the inn. There's an inn in each major region of the forest. There's a small chance that you will deal a critical hit when attacking. Your crits don't need a turn to charge, unlike those from your enemies. It will just happen, hopefully at the right time. Still not reassuring. All of the dirt paths in the forest lead straight to the main objective of that area. Use them to keep on track. Also, the E button apparently shows you. When you pick up coins, they disappear forever. Battle lots of corrupt enemies to keep the income coming. Oh boy, it's gonna be grindy, isn't it? Okay, well that's all the tips, so I just need to remember to block when they're flashing, I guess. Okay guys, well here it goes, let's get right into it, I suppose. I have no idea what's about to happen. Oh my. I guess this is, uh, FNAF minigames I've been missing out on. I don't think the mobile versions had the minigames, so I never really played anything like this. Okay, I can't walk through the stuff. I'm sure there's already, like, crazy amount of weird secrets, but... I guess I'll start by going down. Here's a coin. Space to interact. Blake, I'm assuming the badger. Bad stuff is happening. Go speak to Sarah. <laughs> Bad stuff, okay. This is a badger hole. This hole seems to be a part of a tunnel system, but I'm not strong enough to dig through it. Wonderful. Sarah's at the inn, right? Okay, Pop Goes. What took you so long? <laughs> we have a problem. So he really is just called Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> Someone or something is draining the life of the surrounding force. Well, that is a problem, isn't it? We need to put a stop to it. I'm, I'm glad this is our burden. The North Forest has already fallen, so we need to prevent the effect from spreading to the others. Unfortunately, the North Forest has been locked behind a gate that needs three keys. Maybe they are hidden in the West, South, and East Forests. Please take a look. Venture through the West Forest and see what you can find. Oh boy. Can I talk to this guy? Mandra. Hi, Pop Goes. Would you like to save your progress? I think they're breaking the fourth wall a little here. If you're getting into trouble, I'll bring you back here with everything you have right now. So if I die horribly... <laughs> I can't walk into the abyss. It's all this jazz. <laughs> Is there already no vacancy? <laughs> I'm sure there's probably a way to get in there or something. Maybe unlock it. I don't think I can walk up here. I have no idea. Okay, so. This gate has been locked by someone on the other side. It needs three keys. I feel like she said that at some point, I just wasn't paying attention. This sign is for the North Forest, aka the Blossom Forest. But it's been defaced to say dead instead of blossom. Well, I mean, it doesn't exactly look to be blossoming, so I'd probably deface it too. Um, okay, so this loops back around. Maybe Blake will want to talk to us now. I'm gonna have like a stroke trying to remember what happens every time I do this, because I know I usually play through a whole game on the weekend, but this isn't a long weekend, so... I'm probably only gonna do one part today, but... Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I believe this next weekend should be longer, so I might do two parts. I'm gonna try at least one part a week unless someone recommends something else, and then I might take a break from this game, but according to Sans Bad Time, this is something I'm gonna want to 100%, and you know, honestly, I, I'm kinda digging it, so get, get the pun because he's a weasel. 
Anyway, but I, I don't apologize. And let me go talk to Blake. You're not Blake. Where did Blake go? Stone the duck. I think that's supposed to be a duck. Can you see those red beams in the sky, Pop Goes? I cannot find a key in the West Forest. Regression, zero percent. Wonderful. Okay. Wait, where was it? The West? Okay, so... I, I assume I have to go down first. It only makes sense. Uh, <laughs> okay, so they've said west, and then the west. Logical guy. The autumn forest. Well, this is rather quaint. <laughs> I really can't help this. F what the heck? Fondling the button. Man, I really was not paying attention. Um. He's not flashing, so I assume I just attack. What items do I? I don't have anything. Wham! Bam! Ow! <laughs> My luxurious weasel hat. This guy's good. Kind kind of weak. He think he'd use his horn instead of trying to punch me. <laughs> I feel like that's something that's supposed to happen somewhat frequently. So, I'm assuming if I run in circles, that increases the chance of it happening. So I probably want to go as straight as I can until I actually need money. Yes, this is like some Pokemon level interactions here. I feel like I'm playing Undertale, guys, to be completely honest with you. But also, this is a lot like FNAF World and World 2. So if you guys are wondering, I did play enough FNAF World to get to the point where I would get all the endings, but I still managed to get none of them. But I did play all of that, so I don't know that I'm going to do it. And I'm taking a lot of damage here, I don't know if I'm gonna win this. <laughs> He's not even flashing, He's just punching me for a lot. What do I- can I run? There's no run option, what do I do? Hopefully he just misses a bunch, I don't know. I'm not gonna win this if he just. Yeah, he has to miss from this wrecked. <laughs> well, you know, um. This isn't good. <laughs> I need two damage. I'm gonna try blocking. If it doesn't work, I'm so sorry. This is unfortunate. Um, I need upgrades. Who, who upgrades again? Sarah? Was it Sarah? <sighs> that is so unfortunate. <laughs> okay, maybe I just gotta run real fast. Wait, I thought they said once coins were picked up, they just disappeared. Or maybe, wait, when I died, it didn't save, did it? Okay, so I, got, I really gotta go fast then, eh? Gotta get away from these enemies. I don't know if it's a time thing or a walking around thing, but... This hole seems to be a part of a tunnel system, but I'm not strong enough to... Why aren't you strong enough to do anything, Pop Goes? Get with it! I love how the first enemy I meet is way too weak and the next one is ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> okay... Hey, I heard about your little quest. I tried looking for a key myself, and I doubt there's one in this forest. But feel free to keep looking. You know what? I will. It's a cage with fruit inside. Why would I take your word for it? The sign says that it's been set up to catch corrupt animals in this part of the forest. Can I go inside? <laughs> Can I trap myself? Let's get some weird game over screen or something. I'm not making any encounters right now. I don't know if that's good or bad. 
Also, it looks like you heal after every fight, maybe, I don't know. Can I interact with this? I feel like I can. There's something on the other end of the zip line, but I can't find a way to use it. Well, you really can't do anything then, can you? But it has been vandalized with red paint. I can make out a C and A. Chica head? Like the chicken? Is this a boss fight already? Like actually? I'm gonna get wrecked, aren't I? You're clearly lost if you've wandered here. Pest, stay away and you won't get hurt. I have the feeling I'm gonna get really hurt. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, this is this is bad. Oh, that's so much. Jump! <laughs> Jump! Are you joking? So I get the feeling I'm just not ready for, for this fight. Crits are not gonna save me. I, oh my god. I need upgrades or something. Well, it's interesting that I didn't die, die. You might, my stats are just garbage, man. <laughs> so I don't think this is like a um, group building game where you get a team of people. I think I literally just need to upgrade. Goes. I don't think I can get around. I don't think there's a way to exit a fight either. I think I have clearly lost. <laughs> I know I could press escape to just full on leave the game, but that's not what I want. Oh my god. It does. Two times. Yeah, you really want to block if they're flashing, huh? See what I can do because this ain't good. Ooh, no. At least it's this guy. This is the one enemy I feel like I can actually beat. Got him. Go back to the inn, I guess. At least you heal after everything, I guess. You know, I find it interesting that the lady didn't mention anything about the uh, demonic chicken with the chest. That probably contains the key. Maybe I can talk to her. Saffron! <laughs> Nobody cares! No! <laughs> Maybe I should just try going to a different area? Corrupt Hawk? It's pretty strong. Man, I'm doing a lot of crits here. I might just wanna... Yeah. You know, unless they're low health and you know you can kill them, you pretty much always want to block for those. Yeah, this is just super wacky. Get a bunch of crits now, am I? <laughs> Ouch. Probably would have done 16 if I didn't block. So. I might win this, it's hard to say. Nice. Nice. Corrupt Talk is kind of powerful, but misses a lot. I got a decent amount of coins, hopefully I can get something now. Can I buy something? Please. I don't 
I want to search for the key. I need something. I'm going to save my progress. Oh, you can hold it to speed it up. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. How do you get upgrades? It's got to be something. These can be upgraded twice at ends. Buying an upgrade requires unique emerald coins. I don't have any abilities though. Let's see some upgrade and damage too. You can upgrade your attack and in, in HP in shops. I don't know where those are. I think I just have to keep looking. Oh, oh, okay. So that's what the rooms are for then. Makes sense. I've looked everywhere around up here. West just isn't good. The green forest. A wild boar? I mean, this is the green one. I'm assuming this is where I should have started. <laughs> Pretty evenly matched here. You might just win this, I don't know. Okay, I might be able to sneak out and win here. We got him just barely. Just barely. That was too close. Escape option, that's what bothers me. The fighting in this game is so straightforward. And it's very bothersome. So I'm assuming it doesn't save anything that happens after you die. It's always back to the yeah, last save. I need to just find something. I really don't want to fight these guys. Or should there's something I'm missing that's very important? I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him unless he misses it again. I might just be screwed. Oh, you know... What are the odds? Some upgrades around here. I, mean, I have to look around. There's, there's got to be something I'm missing. I'm assuming there's a key in each area. out on stone so I can't figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. These all just loop around. Is this way easier? I don't know. I need 
need a shop is what I need. Is that a cherry? Wait, hang on a minute. Why is there just a cherry there? That's gotta be something, right? Twenty. This is actually absurd. He, he can literally crit me for my entire health. Th there literally just has to be something in the West because Everything is more powerful the farther right you go, apparently. I can't fight Chico, but I need to go west. That, that's all I know. Don't kill me. <laughs> Wonderful. There's gotta be a secret shop just somewhere. Finding all the secret coins or whatever, I mean, I can just keep fighting to get more, so... I don't see anywhere else to go, I must be missing something. Am I actually supposed to be able to beat Chica? I'll try, I just don't think it's possible. That jump is so annoying. If it's just RNG on whether or not you can beat Chica, this is gonna get pretty ridiculous. Maybe I just wait till she RNG misses a bunch of times, I don't know. Wait, so does she get a jump and an attack? <laughs> I think I'm still dead anyway. I've got to be missing something really important.
seriously been here the entire time? I must be feeling pretty stupid right now. This ridiculously easier. <laughs> so, I don't pay her, I just. Wait, wait. She sent me in up there, how's she also here? I literally don't even have to look at the screen to play these battles. <laughs> you can just tell from the sounds alone. Also, I'm noticing there's a lot of weird, like, fruits, like specific fruits on the specific tree. I I'm wondering if that has something to do with this, some kind of secret. So I have no longer um, the parts are in this game, so... I have no idea how long I'm gonna be doing this. Presumably until I beat Chica. Oh, this guy's kind of powerful. I really hope I beat him. So much health. Oh boy. Okay, I might have him. Spam the space bar this hard in my life. Shop, yes, finally. Let's get these. Okay, I'll definitely go into the shop first. Oh, really, right outside the shop? Are you joking? I'm gonna fight this goof again. Got a crib. Charge and you still missed. Also, where'd you get the suede jacket? What's up with that? I want one. I want a pop goose jacket. Do I get cool merchandise when I buy upgrades in the shop? I think I got in the corner here, guys. Strong. Absolutely insane. The gameplay is over 9,000. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna use the badger, but you know. Yeah, you know, I'd love to buy something. These shelves are looking very empty. Red the bird. Would you like to buy today? Wow. Acorns are really bad. Okay, at least it tells you. The best in stock. Ten points. That's kind of pricey. Essential, yeah, I imagine it's pretty essential. These two are obviously the best ones to buy. I don't know why I'd buy anything else. So much more expensive. The, the HP does seem a lot better than the attack, honestly. <laughs> I 
I like that there's a Y end screen. Now this is what I'm talking about. Now this is the progress. I might actually be able to... Yeah, now we're talking. This is where I start getting the real income. I might even consider this playing some of this on my off time just to spam buy upgrades. Obviously I won't do any more story, I'll just be buying upgrades. Maybe I could stream. I could just stream grinding this game. You guys have to let me know in the comments. Oh yeah, these guys are just gonna get wrecked now. Pop goes OP. Look at this health bar. Look at it. It's over 9,000. I'm feeling pretty good right now, not gonna lie. This makes such a huge difference, it's ridiculous. We went from level 1 baby to level 99 gangster. Oh my god. Have I been playing this for like just a straight hour? I have no idea. Also, there's nothing over here. So I need a shovel, right? I think it's just a habit to press the escape key. I feel like I'm just gonna be doing a lot of this, honestly. Guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode off here, and I'm probably just gonna do a lot of grinding, and then I'm gonna come back, so let's just save quick. Also, literally, I, I don't know why, but every time I go to the shop, I just feel the need to press the escape key to leave when it's really just E. Anyway, that, that's gonna be all I can do for right now. I, I, honestly, I feel like I'm just gonna be doing short episodes, a quick grind, and then a boss fight. And then Sans Bad Time is probably gonna let me know if I'm missing anything important. He, he's probably just shaking his head, <laughs> knowing how long it took me to find the shop there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I might stream the grinding. I don't know if anyone cares to watch that, but I, I might as well. So, yeah, just hit the notification bell, you'll see the streams, the future videos, I'm gonna try to do at least one part of this, not seeing how it is, it's not as bad as I thought, because again, there's, there's really just a very grindy game, but I do like that there's a story-based lure here, and I definitely like the style of it, so, yeah, again, make sure to leave anything in the comments, I'm sure Sans Bad Time's gonna tell me what a goof I'm being, and, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed my nonsense, because again, I have no idea what I'm doing. Bye, guys.